What's up you guys, it's Cody, welcome back to the channel. With the music industry pretty much shut down and the world basically shut down, I've been getting the question, should I release my music now or should I be waiting? So today I wanna jump into some of the pros and cons of releasing music now or waiting until all of this is over. And by the end of this all, you'll know whether or not you should be releasing your music now or waiting until this passes. As always, don't forget to drop a like down below. It helps this video get seen by many more people and really helps out me and my channel more than you know. So thank you in advance. Whenever I'm trying to make a decision about what to do with my music, I always look at what the industry as a whole is doing and in particular, what some of the biggest artists in the world are doing with their music and their releases. There's a reason these artists are so massive. They have teams of people working with them and strategizing exactly how to release their music and how to get it seen by the most people possible. Now, you might not have a team and it might just be you or your bandmates working on your music by yourself, but that doesn't mean you can't learn from the professionals. They have all the money in the big teams to do all the research and figure out what works and what to do in times like this. So by watching them and figuring out what they do, we can apply that to our own marketing strategy strategy, us smaller artists can piggyback off of the teams of these bigger artists and all the money they're putting into marketing and research to really get the best release possible for ourselves. So what is happening in the music industry in terms of music releases right now? Well, it seems to be kind of split 50-50 right down the middle. Artists are faced with a choice, either go ahead with their release plan or postpone it until an unknown date. And we've seen artists go both ways with this. It really seems to be more of a personal choice than anything else at the moment. Artists like The Weeknd just put out a new album in March, and his record got over 1 billion streams in the first week it was out. So there's certainly no shortage of listeners. We've also seen artists like Dua Lipa take to Instagram Live and talk about the, the struggle for her to decide whether to release her music now or wait longer and how she's gone back and forth. And it was actually quite an emotional interview that that she had, but she ended up deciding that she was gonna release her music and share it with the world, and it has definitely been doing very well for her. On the other hand, there's been lots of artists who have postponed their records and not setting any new release dates, like Sam Smith and Lady Gaga. In an interview, Lady Gaga said that she didn't feel right just releasing music when people are in such a time of need right now that she didn't want all the focus to be on her and her music, which I can completely understand. So from looking at the music industry, we can't really decide which way is better to go because they obviously can't decide either. The music industry has never experienced anything like this. The world has never experienced anything like this before. So it's really tough for people to decide with, with no prior history or no prior information of what to do at times like this. Now, while you may think that music streams are doing well during a time like this, they've actually been suffering. Music streams are down about 10 to 20% since this whole shutdown began. And I think a lot of that is due to the lack of commute that people have. I know for myself, I listen to a lot of music in the car on my way to work or whether you're going to school or just whenever you're traveling. When people commute, they tend to listen to music. And if you're not leaving the house, that means you're not really commuting, which means you're probably not listening to music. So while a 10 or 20% declean in music streams isn't massive, it definitely is going to have some impact. And if you're trying to reach a lot of people with your music, now might not be the best time since music streams are down. Okay, so what are some reasons you should be releasing your music right now? Well, for starters, it's going to be a lot less crowded right now than when all of this passes and people start releasing music again. Just think, if 50% of massive artists are already deciding to postpone their records, just think how much new music is gonna be available once all of this passes. Like seriously, we're gonna have a whole year's worth of releases packed into six months and it's gonna be overwhelming. So I think by going ahead and going along with your release, you're gonna be avoiding the crowd and kind of standing out from everybody else just cause there's gonna be a lot less competition for you. Not to say that releasing music is in any way a competition, but people only have so many minutes in a day and only so many minutes of listening to music. You wanna make sure that they're gonna be listening to your music and not have 10 other albums that they wanna listen to that day. Another benefit to releasing your music right now is nobody knows when this is gonna be over. It could just be a few more weeks or a few more months, but, but nobody really knows the time frame. So by indefinitely postponing the release of your record means you're not gonna set a release date and you're not really gonna have a plan and know exactly when to release it next. I think this reason alone is such an argument to just release your music now. You can set up a plan and schedule your dates and, and get it all implemented and just get your music out to the world. You don't have to wait until things start to settle down and then stuff starts opening and then you can start rebooking tours. By then there's gonna be so much music flooded in the market that, that your music isn't even gonna be recognized and you're gonna set yourself back six months or a year from where you want to be. Now also in terms of time, you might be in a situation where you have a lot more free time to put into the release of your music. Free time that you might not have six months from now or a year from now. So if you do have the opportunity right now to really focus on releasing your music and really engaging with the most amount of people possible, I think this is a huge advantage to releasing your music right now. Nobody knows what's gonna happen in six months or a year and you don't know what your schedule is gonna look like in six months or a year. But you do know what your schedule looks like right now and you do know what the next three weeks or a month is gonna look like for you. And 
And if you do have the free time, I think you should absolutely go ahead with your release. Make this your full-time job. Really focus on this release. It's not very often that you have an opportunity to focus 100% of your energy into something. So I think that's a great opportunity and something you should 100% take advantage of. All right, another reason I think you should be releasing music, and this one isn't necessarily for yourself, this one's for other people, is that music heals. And we're definitely in a time where people need healing and they need comfort and they need to feel connected to something. And music is that vehicle for a lot of people. It's how they feel connected and know that other people feel the same. So by releasing music right now, you're, you're gonna make other people's lives a lot easier and people, especially people who enjoy your music, they're gonna feel more relaxed and more connected with you and, and know that everything's gonna be okay and that we're all gonna get through this together one way or another. Through seeing people's live streams and other people release music and people post and just musicians who are being active, their fan base is so grateful that they're staying active and, and connecting with them still and doing the things that they used to do just in a different way. I think this is something that everybody in life deserves and especially your fans. If you have an opportunity to help them and, and make the next couple months a little bit easier on them, I absolutely think you should do that. And this is one huge advantage to releasing your music right now is people need this more than ever. So go out there, do what you can, write the songs that, that are going to help you and help other people and, and go ahead with your release. All right, another reason to release music right now and not wait is you can continue to grow as a musician. If you're a younger artist who only has a few releases under your belt or are fairly new to taking music seriously, growth as a musician is so important. Your music's gonna develop, the way you approach your releases and your brand is gonna develop, and everything's just gonna get better and easier with time. Holding off on putting out a record and just sitting on it is one of the hardest things to do as a musician, and it can have negative effects on your growth through your music journey as well. I've sat on recorded music for well over a year, and that was one of the hardest years of my life. Knowing that I have such good songs that I'm just sitting on, not doing anything with, it, it almost stunts you from wanting to keep writing until you have the music that you've already worked so hard on released to the world. I think for no reason alone, even if you don't think your release is gonna do as well as it would if you waited six months to put it out, I think you should just release this music so you can continue writing and continue recording, and your music as a whole and your brand is gonna be a lot more presentable and you're gonna be doing better things three years from now, especially if you continue to release music and, and maybe next year you have an, another album that's ready to come out and the year after that, another album that's ready to come out. By just sitting on this music and waiting, you're only stunting your growth and you're only hurting yourself in the long run. So I think that's one huge advantage to just, just releasing your music right now and getting it over and done with. And by over done with, I don't mean just throw it out into the world, still have a good release strategy. If you want some advice on how to do some release strategies and what has worked for me in the past, I have some really great videos on that. I'll drop some links down below so you can check it out. What are some other reasons to release some music right now? Drop me a comment down below and let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the whole situation. All right, now what are some reasons that you should hold off on releasing music right now and wait until things clear up a little bit? Well, for starters, if you have any big touring plans or big budget marketing plans scheduled to happen for your release, those aren't gonna be as effective right now. Well, especially touring. You're not gonna be touring for the next little bit. I can tell you that for sure. Now, if you are relying on these things for your release, whether through a record label or it's self-funded or through your management team and you you plan big tours and you have a big marketing budget then i don't think releasing right now is the best thing for you touring is not happening nobody's going on tour for the next few months you, you can't even book a tour right now so if touring is part of your marketing strategy then you might be best to hold off and wait a little bit longer because you're not going to be seeing people face to face for quite some time now if you were planning some marketing and maybe have a marketing company working for you it's going to be hard for them to target people right now People aren't going about their usual daily activities and the whole world is, is in a weird little limbo phase right now. So it can be very difficult for these marketing companies to target your audience effectively. If you are an artist who has used this in the past or is gonna rely on this for your upcoming release, maybe it's best to hold off for just a little bit and really wait and see how it all shapes up and, and then maybe your marketing will be more effective in three months from now or six months from now. It's hard to narrow down a time frame, and it's possible you end up waiting longer than that, but at least you know that when you release your music, it's gonna get seen by as many people as it should. And you'll gain new listeners from all the avenues you had projected to already find music from, instead of having to grind on social media where, where everybody seemed to flock to recently. All right, another reason to hold up on your music release. If you are a smaller artist, often we rely on a lot of word of mouth. Every time we play a show, I always tell our audience that we're a small band and we rely on, on you to go tell your friends about our band. 
And that's not happening right now. People aren't seeing people. And so there's a lot less word of mouth and, and a lot less communication between people than normal. Yes, people still are staying in touch, whether that's through social media and messaging or, or video chats, but the communication still isn't quite at the same level that it was. At least I don't believe it to be. And it's very unlikely that someone's gonna get excited enough about your music, just hearing it online or just seeing it flopped up on the internet to go and tell all their friends about it. So I think one advantage to holding off on your music is there's gonna be a lot more free advertising through the form of word of mouth once all of this has passed. I know that's something a lot of artists use and, and it's a really great strategy, but it, it's not very effective at a time like this. So, so if you were relying on that, maybe hold off for now. Now, another thing to think about when considering your release is that music streams are down 20% at the moment. Already, that's a huge impact on how many people are gonna be listening to your music once it's released. And it's gonna have a negative impact on how many new listeners and new followers you get through this new music. Every time we put out new music, we expect it's gonna do better than our last release. And with music streams overall being down, that already puts us at a disadvantage to beat our old goals. So something you have to consider if you are gonna be releasing music now is that it might not do as well as your last release. And, and that's okay, the audience just isn't there for it. It's still gonna be okay to put out that music and, and move forward with it anyways. But if music streams are something that you watch closely and you're all about the stats, then maybe holding off is best for now. Now, another reason to hold off from releasing your music right now is if you have a much more physical based audience. This is audience who listen to vinyls and who listens to CDs. We see this a lot more with, with rock bands and punk bands. These artists rely heavily on touring and touring actually makes up about 80% of a lot of these artists' income. And they use new music releases to help get a buzz around the band and get people out to shows on their upcoming tour so that they can sell more CDs, sell more merch and, and make a lot more money. And that's really the only way that they make money. Music streams really aren't very big for them. So if you're one of these artists in, in a very tour heavy category or, or you sell a lot of CDs or you expect that you'd sell a lot of CDs, now maybe isn't the best time. There's no physical events happening and there's no physical sales going on. So if you're not really a, a stream oriented music person, then now probably isn't the best time to be releasing your music. Now you might also wanna think about waiting to put out this music to give it the proper response that it deserves. You've put so much hard work and energy into this music to just kind of flop it out there and say, here's my quarantine music, might not be the best approach. We all know you've spent countless hours writing and recording and producing this music and, and it sounds great and you want it to get the response that it deserves. If you release it right now, there's a worry that it's not gonna get heard by as many people and might not do what you expect it to do for you. I think this is a very valid point and it, your music should hold a lot of worth to you. You don't wanna undersell yourself and likewise you don't wanna undersell your music. So if releasing your music right now isn't gonna give it the proper response that you believe your music deserves, don't do it. At the end of the day, you need to do what's best for you and what's best for your music. So these have been some of the pros and cons to releasing music right now versus waiting till all of this is over. And my conclusion is, just go for it. I mean, unless you're a massive artist who's relying on touring and marketing, I really don't see the harm in putting out your music right now. That being said, nobody's ever experienced this before and maybe it is best to wait. Who's to really say? One thing I know for sure is that nobody is certain of how long this is gonna last. So holding off on releasing music for me isn't necessarily the best idea. I personally wanna just get it out there so I can continue to write and continue to record and, and grow as a musician. And also have the peace of mind of not knowing that I'm gonna have to release this music in the future. I have the time to do it right now, so I think just biting the bullet of possibly releasing to less people is gonna be better for me in the long run. Now I'm curious, what is gonna be best for your music? Are you gonna be releasing your music right away? Or do you think you're gonna hold off until this pass is over? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.